Hey everybody, we're here in Orlando at the Prophecy Summit put on by Prophecy Watchers. I got one of the greats with me, Don Perkins with us. He's, he was at Rock Harbor Church and visited with us and spoke, but he's one of the all-stars here and uh, we wanted to hear from him kind of what he's going to be speaking about and maybe get his advice about a few things. So Don, tell us what you're going to be speaking on. Well, my message, I got two, uh, the reality of hell and the reality of heaven. Ah, and we're going nice. to look at it from a biblical perspective, uh, give, give them understanding about both of those places. Yeah. Amen. Both are very real, All right. and uh, many believers need to understand what the Bible says about them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Let me ask you one question. A lot of believers are wondering, why, why are we still here? How come the rapture hasn't happened? What would you tell everybody in the audience of why is, why is the Lord tarrying? Why is he delayed? Well, one reason I don't know why he's delayed, because I'm ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so but I will tell you this. We know that rapture is an imminent event, meaning yes. it can happen at any time or right. any moment. Now, we're witnessing signs that are preparation for the second coming. Yeah. So as we're seeing signs that point to the second coming, it let us know that the rapture is even closer. Amen. Uh, I can only say it's the mercy of God yeah. that that he's tearing, yeah. you know, and trying to get as many people uh, to come come to him. Yeah. So let me ask you this. A lot of a lot of us didn't think we would see all that we're seeing right now. So um, we're, tr we're trying to think about what should we tell believers out there if we are going to be here for a little bit longer. I mean, we could be raptured today, sure. but if we're here a little longer, we're going to see some crazy stuff. Absolutely. So what is your advice to those believers out there if we have to stay around for a while? Well, one thing, get rooted in the Word of God, get rooted in the truth of His Word, and then pray for God's boldness. Uh, we need to stand in these latter days with truth. Amen. The church needs to have a strong voice. Yeah. Uh, and sad to say, I mean, a lot of churches don't have that voice anymore. True. Uh, God is raising True. up a remnant. I really believe that that's going to stand and going to preach truth to a dying world. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for, for being with us. And we pray you have a great conference, man. Well, I'm honored and privileged to be All with right, you man. always, man. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you as hey, well. All right.